Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. Come on in. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, not date or time specific. We did just move into Taurus season, so a lot more centered and balanced and grounded, driven by Venus. So we're all in consideration of our creature comforts, of love of what we value starting within ourselves of course so that energy is present regardless of when you come upon this reading but when you do if it speaks to you i trust that it's your message at that time uh, we are also in the run-up to the second new moon of this month the new moon in taurus will be an eclipse all the eclipses this year are taking place in Taurus and Scorpio. That's where the nodes of the moon have moved to. And all the eclipses for the next 18 months. So um, first new moon <laughs> eclipse is on the 30th of April. Okay, just wanted to let you know that. So I pulled from um, Enchanted Map for you today, Sag. And you got some interesting numerology. First of all, you got 5, 35, and 53. So obviously we got 555, five, five. we've got um, 88, 588. So if fives and eights are your numbers, they're here. Um, fives are about change though. So FYI, and eights are about working through something, right? Because if 10 is completion and nine is the final perfection before completion, eight is ironing out the kinks and put and focusing in on the details. Okay, so just want to let you know, you got the goblins card here, number five. So this, and when the goblin shows up, it's telling you that fear is just an illusion. You got to choose love. You got to choose love every moment, or, but at least for today. If you're sitting here like, yes, I've got fears. I've got all kinds of insecurities. I'm getting triggered left and right. Yeah, just um, choose love and avoid self-sabotage based on that fear. So. You can feel like the goblin's card is a little bit of the devil energy from tarot, which is also ego and fear and how ego wants to keep us small and keeps us holding on to things that are familiar, even if they're not good for us. And the outside world tells us differently. That's what I feel this is about. Choose love over fear all day, every day. Second card is education, card 35. So you know, this is telling you life is filled with lessons, right? Don't fear it. Be teachable. Some important info may also be coming in for you. This card um, does talk about information being made available to you. So that could be happening. And the final card, 53, right? We had 35. Now we have 53 is the listening. So an open heart will hear the message. So if there's information trying to make its way to you, whether it's here in this reading or in um, any situation out there in your personal life, um, be teachable, be open to hearing the message. Got it? With an open heart. So interesting um, oracle for you there, Sag. Let's see what's going on in your connection. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us by subscribing. And for those who are returning, so sending much love and appreciation for your support. Let's see what's going on for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just saw the wheel. There it is. Um, you could be here as a cross watcher. That's fine. Sometimes you got to flip the energies around. I may be talking directly to a cross watcher. <laughs> oh my God. Like, you know, the, the one sign that gives me the most grief about the seven of pentacles is Sagittarius. So I know you're all going to come in the comments and like, lady, do not be showing me that seven of pentacles, but that's the present situation something's trying to unfold organically and you're having none of it you're like god i'm tired of waiting what's crossing you sure king of pentacles right the one who um shows up in 3d has your back committed this is an archetype a masculine archetype of a life partner 
Um, the problem with the King of Pentacles is they're going to do it in their own time. They're going to they're going to come to it, but they're going to come to it in their own time. And you may be ready for something right here, right now, but this person is not. Could be an Earth sign, doesn't have to be, but it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially we're in Taurus season. So I just feel like the Pentacle energy is coming through. Um, underneath Five of Swords, there's the self-sabotage, guys. In the past, Four of Wands, right? Definitely an awareness uh, for some of you that this may have, uh, in your mind's eye, have been a twin. Thinking of life partnership makes sense when you see these two cards together, uh, but I'm not sure it happened. Something got in the way, and here you are, Nine of Pentacles, a great card for... Um, you know, making your way through life, autonomous, independent, self, um, uh, self-made, um, you know, living your best life because you've worked for it. So I like the nine of pentacles. Keep in mind, she is a single person. Uh, lots of suitors maybe, but struggles to find a love that stays. So we'll see what that energy has because it is in the a conscious awareness like you may be super aware of your singleness right now and not really aware of how you trip yourself up and the eight of pentacles um this was in the morning musing too for the channel members it's about zeroing in on the details and now you've got these eights here um, in these two oracle cards eight is a number for you especially in 3d something needs your attention or will need your attention this is the near future um, as you work to come up with creative solutions to whatever this problem is you're experiencing i do not know what's going on outside there is some noise if you hear that it's trucks or some such nonsense six of wands from spirit this may um signal a reconciliation some perceived sense of victory maybe even a homecoming a triumphant homecoming so somebody could be returning in the hidden energy strength somebody's trying to work on building up their strength courage and confidence to overcome an obstacle or a challenge in your hopes and or fears here comes the sun that was your anchor card in the morning musing as well um that's what i do in the channel membership i do a little mini spread to just kind of muse about the energies coming through for the signs i'm going to read for later in the day so i like to see that there and in the outcome position king of swords that was there too so this could be somebody who is strategizing a return that's always possible we'll see this could just be the object of um you know, when you think about being happy, when you think about what would make you happy, when you think about the one that could take you off the market, potentially, it's this king of swords. It's somebody you respect and admire. Um, they may not be very accessible. They may not be very warm and fuzzy. You may not be having any communication with them whatsoever or very limited. Um, they're a strategist though. So that could be why. What's on the bottom? Four of Pentacles. Somebody is not giving an inch here. The Four of Pentacles can be guardedness on your part or theirs. Um, it can also be uh, a little defiance around letting something go. Holding on too tight. And why? Because there's the moon and you see the Two of Cups under there as well. So, whoo. All right, Sag, and I've got the Emperor on the bottom here. Crazy. Um, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. There's freaking King of Swords again. So this King of Pentacles is the King of Swords. In your mind's eye, this is somebody you feel you could have a future with or you'd at least like a stable relationship in 3D. Um, but it is a King of Swords. Uh <laughs> Yeah, and you know, your wish fulfilled would be some victory here, moving forward, getting unstuck out of this waiting, holding pattern you're in. So I'm feeling frustration with the seven of uh, pentacles because this is the challenge card. This person isn't taking any action. You want them to, you know, it's like, get the lead out. Let's get moving here. And the nine of cups underneath, 
sometimes that is a card of complacency. And it may be that on some level, in your unconscious awareness, you are feeling that they're just being complacent. Like, I don't wanna say the word lazy, but that they've gotten used to the situation as it is, and they're not taking matters into their own hands, even though they're the one that would have to. They might, you might think they want to, but they're not. I mean, you might think they want to take matters into their own hands, but energetically you feel they're not. That's what I meant to say. Five of Swords. In the unconscious awareness, Ten of Swords. Three of Cups, Devil. Wow. So, you know, with the... Um, goblins i mentioned the devil energy and i said beware of self-sabotage right fear is, is an illusion yada 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 but in this case i get the impression that you still have a real bad taste in your mouth from something that occurred that was not fun or pleasant and for some of you there may be third party energy but for others of you there's almost like this deeply buried obsessive adjacent energy around the connection where you feel you were cheated out of something you know you had this maybe even very painful ending because someone else's energy was in the mix um doesn't have to be anything about cheating i kind of feel you you know you're the devil energy here and i mean that with love please don't get pissed it doesn't ha it's not it doesn't have to be anything horrible it's just ego and fear and sometimes when we have ego and fear what do we do we hold on to things too tightly because we don't trust we don't trust that the universe has our back so this may be a message that you need to have an open heart to hear um it kind of came through this morning in a similar fashion not the exact cards but very close so i feel there's something here that you know um, was not pleasant for you and not not for nothing it probably you've got legit reasons to still be upset about it but I feel like there's almost a little bit of an obsession here with how you felt cheated out of something sabotage set up Four of Wands in the past. Sure, this was the person you desired. Um, they may have been, we've got another king, uh, you know, lots of passion. This can even be your own energy, Sag, male or female, doesn't matter. But knowing what you want and claiming it is very much the energy that I'm feeling coming through. Um, and on some level, there could have been some hidden feelings that weren't expressed, that might have caused some uncertainty, some apprehension, that moon card can be, a, you know, a subtle level of fear and insecurity beneath the surface, um, not within yourself, but about the situation. The, the uh, it's almost too good to be true energy is what I feel coming through and really trying to access your intuition through this situation because you didn't trust it seemed too good to be true and maybe it was because underneath you're still processing a very difficult and painful ending so the nine of pentacles there it is there it is yes this is exactly where you need to be okay so now you know there's some stuff that you need to release. You need to kind of let the goblins go. You need to literally flood them with light and love from the highest version of your independent autonomous self. And you have to trust that if you're meant to be with this person, you'll get their cooperation you'll get it it'll come in time so the three of pentacles underneath is about cooperation co-creation you your divine counterpart and spirit sort of working together co-creatively to take the connection from where it is and build upon it um and i'm feeling like 
I like to see this Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups and the Sun. For some of you, um, this whole situation could benefit from remembering what brought you together to begin with, where the friendship was, where the connection was that um, got your attention in 3D. Uh, and I'm not seeing it as just passion, although there was plenty of that. I'm feeling like there's something more solid. Pentacles. So if you're looking for a way to drop the goblin and not self-sabotage anymore and not stay, not allowing your ego to... Uh, keep you small. I feel like you're trying to break free of that to some degree. That would be good. That would be the better thing to focus on. Um, but there seems to be some element of, of, of the connection at the level of friendship and care and genuine concern and compassion. You know, that's what I think you need to kind of bring to the top of the deck. Eight of Pentacles going forward. Yeah, someone needed to hear that. It is about partnership born. At, it, there is love here. Do not get me wrong. There's plenty of love here. But I feel like the friendship is where the weak, where the cracks are in the foundation. Um, and I feel like if you could focus on that and, you know, bring this part, this partnership, this soul bond into focus and really work on bringing the three of pentacles to the top of the deck, that would be great. And I got a yes from the universe with the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be kind of working on closing up, not closing up, completing some healing. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is telling you everything in divine time. If you really want it, you got to work on it and focus on your healing first. That's underneath because it's not going to be what you're leading with. You're leading with positive energy around the connection, the fadedness of it, the, the positive karma of it, the fact that you know, it will unfold when it's time to unfold and not one minute sooner. I know, I know you're not happy about it. Um, but there's some healing that needs to take place first. That's underneath as well as the Three of Pentacles is underneath as well as the moon is underneath. Look at all the energy that's underneath. Look at what you're kind of shoving down. Yeah. That's where the issues are. They're laying beneath the surface. And I feel like some good energy is beginning to creep, creep up. That uh, doesn't sound good. Crop up, rise up within you. Some powerful energy, some more self-assured and self-empowered energy uh, may be rising up that will make it easier for your energies to kind of meet in a non-threatening way. Yeah, Queen of Swords, ah, Five of Pentacles, and the Fool. Should someone return, I feel like Spirit's message to you here is you've got to get some clarity. Communication will need to be non-emotional. It will need to be direct. It will need to be, um, you know, like where you extend your hand in peace, like, hey, we, I just need to get some things sorted out. Can you help me help you? <laughs> Let's get some clarity. Um, and I feel it's all about this energy of abandonment, which is where your goblins live, which is why the devil comes in and the moon comes in and the three of pentacles is buried and the four of swords. You're like, yeah, who needs to heal? Yeah, you do, because there's something really, you know, difficult here um, that really um, impacted your sense of self-worth. Fool. Risk assessment, risk assessment. So I feel like spirit's message to you is, should this person return, have a non-emotional, clear, direct conversation where you get some clarity, clarity around why you were left flapping in the breeze 
why they disappeared, ghosted you, whatever, and then assess the risk involved by, by virtue of their responses. Or the fool may just be talking about taking a risk in opening Pandora's box, right? Because the Queen of Swords is gonna say some stuff and ask some questions and you gotta, you know, take a risk that you may or may not like what you're gonna hear in return. But the Strength card and the Hidden Energies. Uh, I feel, um, wow. You're both super guarded. I feel like you're both, I feel this is mirrored energy. Um, this person hasn't given up. I do feel that it's a bit of a struggle for them, maybe even painful to some degree. So their guard is up there. You are underneath, right? So they've got you kind of tamped down, just like you've got them kind of tamped down. Um, they can overcome it though. I feel like because we have this energy of two perseverance cards right off the bat and then they kind of pull back, right? It's like two steps forward, one step back. And this person is just trying to find their confidence, their stride um, to kind of overcome whatever came between the two of you. Something came between the two of you, Three of Cups. I don't know what it is. I'm not getting a solid hit on that in this particular reading. But your intuition told you, you know, Danger Will Robinson, something's not safe. This is too good to be true. So you just have to give this time. Um, Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. You have to give this time to unfold. This person has to sort of drop their own center pentacle. You have to do the same thing at the same time and find a way to get through your fear. Uh, the sun is in your hopes and your fears. Let me pull for the King of Swords and then I'll, I'll go from there. Yeah. Okay, so the good news is um, this person is definitely in consideration. They're strategizing uh, an opportunity to speak from their heart sincerely, um, maybe a message of love or apology or just a sincere conversation should that opportunity arise, but it's on delay, it's on hold. This conversation, this message that comes in will prove to be like a, a big sigh of relief to this person, this King of Swords, and to you as well. But this hanged man suggests that everything's kind of pulled back, it's on hold, this person is waiting for the downloads, waiting for some kind of enlightenment um, as to when it's they're free to move about the cabin, okay? So the message that will come when they're ready to deliver it will be from the heart and it will provide a big source of relief to both of you. Um, but again, I see the delay. So in your hopes and or fears, you're hoping for the happy happiness, um, but you feel like you're completely stuck and trapped, and you know you may be experiencing a tremendous amount of self doubt. We've got this Ace of Swords that I don't think you're even receiving. It could be that you feel stuck because your happiness depends on somebody kind of having an awakening. Somebody seeing the light. Uh, and I'm saying that because the card underneath is a six of, pen, a six of cups. So the past life soulmate, right? Are, are, when are they going to realize that we belong together? You know, and, and that's what I hear you saying. When are they going to open their eyes? When are they going to see things clearly? And you're kind of stuck because you don't know how to make that happen. And you may be racked with some self-doubt. You may be overthinking every little 
minute detail here, but it's important to you because your happiness depends on it. So while you're hoping for a happy outcome and you're hoping for a successful experience in this connection, you're sort of stuck waiting for them to see the light, waiting for them to have the epiphany. And it's on hold. There's a delay. Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hanged Man are all boom, boom, boom. Present, near future, a uh, potential outcome all have delayed energy in them. So if I were you here, Sag, I'd be focusing more on your healing and um, really going back into your memory banks around this connection and the basis that you had for a relationship. Where was the friendship? Were there any problems there? Um, was it one-sided even, right? So that's what I'd do. I'd look at that. Um, and I'd definitely be focusing on releasing the goblins and letting go of um, ego. Listen with an open heart to hear this message because of course I always deliver it from the heart. Be teachable, this may uh, be an opportunity for some important information that may be coming your way. Oh my. Okay. So, um, before I go on to tell you everyone that showed up here, there is a link to the extended and I'm going to look at it from this, uh, divine masculine's point of view. I feel I'm talking to a feminine regardless of your sign. And, um, so whether you're cross-watching for a Sagittarius, or you are the Sagittarius, the extended will be all from the Divine Masculine's point of view. Okay? And we'll look at how they show up in the reading, how they see the situation, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, their intentions towards you going forward. I'll pull another card from Spirit for some guidance for you, as well as some Oracle to close it out. Here's who shows up. We've got the King of Pentacles, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancerian energy in the chariot. The King of Swords is out twice. That's that's the guy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Doesn't have to be a guy. You get what I'm saying. Devil is Capricorn. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. High Priestess is Pisces. The Moon is Pisces. We got a little Virgo in this Nine of Pentacles. The Sun is out twice. That's Leo. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a Sagittarian energy. That is one of your cards. It's Jupiter, actually. Queen of Swords. Um, what a match for the King of Swords, huh? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius in the Fool, more Leo in the Strength. There's that second hit of the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. And Pisces in the Hanged Man. That's what we got, okay? This will take time. <laughs> Give it time. Give it time. All right. Much love to you. I'll see you in the extended. The link's below or in a future reading. Bye for now.